This is the worst hike I've ever done in my life. Ah, uh, that sun feels good. <laughs> Just coming over the mountain. Good morning. It's uh, almost 8, about 7.45. Been up since about seven, but I just kind of laid in my tent until it got a little warmer. It was cold. I think that's why bugs haven't been uh, so bad this trip. My plan for the first half of my day is to have coffee, which is cooking now. Then I'm going to have breakfast. Then I'm going to pack my day pack and hike over the, the pass over here and go to a lake that potentially could hold a very, very large cutthroat. I don't really know. We'll see when we get there. Uh, when we get back to camp, I've got a couple other ideas, but I don't really know, so we'll just go from there. Uh, that oatmeal was good. It is sitting pretty on my stomach right now. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned it yesterday, but this is the first hike of the year for me in the Hyuenas that I haven't had wet feet. So we are headed to what's rumored to be one of the most inaccessible lakes in the Hyuenas. We'll uh, test that theory real quick. It's only about two miles away. Okay, so I've made it to the base of the pass. Incredible views out there. And there is a trail to take you up over the pass. Um, once you get up over the other side, it just kind of disappears again. Yeah, made the pass. So beautiful, every direction. That lake right there is where I'm going. The trail stops and the boulder fields begin. They are nasty. Just gotta go real slow so I don't get hurt. I would hate to have to use my uh, PLB to text my friend Corbin and let him know I needed help back here. <laughs> I'm sure he'd come. That is not the lake I'm looking for. It sure is pretty. Uh, I'm going right up the hill uh, behind it. Well, I just made my first big push through the rocks. Oh, I now remember why I told myself I'd never do this again. <laughs> uh, the only difference between this time and the last time is the last time I went the other direction a mile. This time I'm going, you know, this direction for a mile. All for uh, a fish that may or may not be there. Oh, boy. This is the worst hike I've ever done in my life. This is uh, stupid. It is stupid to come back here. Oh, I made it. Uh, this is definitely probably one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. Uh, there's two lakes back here. I've been to the one on the other side before. This is my first time to this one, and this one is much harder. Um, so yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, probably the most inaccessible lake in the Uintas. I will not be going back the way I came, um, so hopefully we can find an easier way to go back. It doesn't appear very deep, but it's really pretty. There is no signs of, of, of camp, humans at all here. So I'm gonna fish it for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes, um, you know, in, unless fishing's better, maybe longer, but we'll see. I don't even know if there's any fish in here right now, but. All right, this uh, at least appears uh, pretty deep right here. I have seen no surface activity. Uh, I've got a little flashy leech pattern on, uh, size 14. And, uh, you know, unless this starts kicking out fish, I probably won't be here very long. It's a nasty hike out of here. Well, I didn't fish long, maybe 25 minutes. Uh, I have not seen any activity, and if there was fish in here, I probably would have. Uh, we had a really big winter two years ago, well above an average snow year, and there was some rumor that this was one of the lakes that could have winter killed, and uh, there's a good chance that it probably did. So I'm not gonna spend too much more time up here. I'm actually gonna put my camera completely away and put it in my day pack and uh, find a way to scramble out of here a little safer than coming in. So uh, we probably won't check in until uh, somewhere back up on the pass. Oh, I'm going to chug a couple bottles of water. As you can see, I have made it back to camp. Really, uh, really good day hike, really hard day hike. 
it's a shame there wasn't uh, fish in there. Just because I didn't see or catch any doesn't mean they're in there. But I had heard uh, that it could have winter killed, which is a shame because, uh, you know, two years ago, three years ago, it was kicking out pretty big trout. But that's how it goes sometimes. So I'm going to relax. Uh, like I said, drink a, a bottle or two of water. And um, I'm thinking about packing up and hiking two miles to another lake that's off the trail just a little bit. Never been there before. I don't know anybody that's been there. And, um, you know, if I could go find some fish there, that would be pretty cool. And there's also another lake about a quarter mile from that one uh, that does have a trail that takes you there. But it gives me two options if, you know, there's not fish in one, maybe the other. I'll most likely pack up here pretty soon and, uh, you know, start trekking to a different place for the night. All right. You can see I am packed up and I'm headed to a new lake to camp. It's really hard to leave this place. Just insane grayling fishing. Big, big grayling. But, uh, you know, I want to see an another lake. And this one I've never seen before, never been there. Don't know what to expect. It's kind of scary. You know, it could be a uh, winter kill or just never had fish. Uh, so we're going to find out. The lake that I'm going after now is only two miles away. About a mile and a half of that is off trail. So, uh, though it's close, it's going to take me a minute to get there. And uh, we're just going to get after it, get started. Uh, I had about three quarters of a mile of trail, which was appreciated, and now I'm back off trail. Uh, I don't think it's going to take me 10 or 15 minutes or so to scramble through the forest to get to the first lake that I'm going to check out for possibly camp. Uh, never seen it. Looking forward to, though. Look how pretty this is. Wow. Such a pretty lake. <laughs> uh, it looks promising. It looks deep. It's hard to tell. I need to walk around it. I need to find somewhere to camp. And uh, we're hoping it has some fish in it. There is another one close by, but I don't really want to walk uh, any further, even though it's only half a mile. So we're going to walk around the lake and look at it for campsites and just kind of go from there. All right, guys, a little update. I did walk around the lake. Beautiful lake. Uh, there is one campsite around the lake, a really nice campsite, but I'm confident there's no fish in the lake. It's really shallow, and there's bugs swimming in the water everywhere. Those trout would be just tearing them up. So gonna walk another half a mile to the next lake and fish or not that's camp for the night I'm pretty tired oh I am blown away everywhere I go up here yeah I'm definitely walking through a meadow it feels good on my feet too they're aching been a lot of hiking today but I got my eyes on a pretty good camp and there's uh, a ton of fish activity. I'm glad I made the decision to come here and I'm gonna get camp set up and get on the water. Beautiful lake, so many fish jumping. Big campsite right here. So I'm just getting set up and I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm going to put my fishing pole together and get right down on the water. Quite a bit of activity, so I think I'm going to start with my three weight. And uh, we'll just kind of see what happens. I'm going to probably plan on fishing most of the night away. All right, I am uh, taking a break from fishing. Uh, I didn't have to walk too far uh, to come back to camp. <laughs> I was just fishing right there on the water behind me. Uh, fishing has been, it's been okay. Uh, pulled in eight or 10 little grayling, six inches or so. 
uh, small little guys, but I'm gonna take a break, process some firewood, and uh, I'll fish one more time before winding down. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'll have to have an early dinner. You can't see it behind me in frame anymore, but a deer just wandered into my camp. I think we both uh, scared each other. <laughs> anyway, I packed up a, a little bit of firewood, enough to have a fire for 20 or 30 minutes, and I'm headed back down to the water. <laughs> Got it. Good evening. It's been a great night. Uh, fishing was pretty good. I caught another handful of fish. Missed a handful of fish. Uh, there's a deer that just keeps circling my camp. It's been pretty neat to watch. It, it, it'll come like 20 feet from me. So I don't really know why. There's nothing here but an established camp. But uh, you know it won't leave me alone and that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to check my map. Um, and make sure I'm out of the fire restriction zone. I'm pretty sure I am, but I'm going to verify that before starting a fire. All right. Okay. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah, there's no restrictions here, so I'm going to go ahead and get a fire started. <laughs> Here's dinner. A little bowl of macaroni. Alright, it is almost 9.30, just getting in the tent. I'm going to listen to some music and read a book until I fall asleep. Uh, a lot of work today, but it was a really good day, so... Uh, just really happy. We'll see y'all in the morning.
Good morning. I am all packed up and on the trail. Um, I didn't film too much around camp this morning. There's still uh, some campers sleeping and I didn't want to wake anybody up, but should be uh, about a eight mile hike out of here. All the hard work's done. I did the two miles of off trail yesterday, so it shouldn't take me too long to get back to the truck and just had a really great trip. We'll see y'all soon.